to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking about more mom hacks. And if you guys have seen my last one, then you know that I love mom hacks. I love making my life easier in any way that I can. And that video got a lot of views. A lot of you guys liked that video, so I thought I would do another one. And if you guys like this one, then maybe I'll do more in the future if you guys wanna see more. So I love like figuring out new ways to make mom life easier. It's just always really, really nice. So I have a few hacks that I personally use. So I think you guys will like these two if you're a mom. And if not, Keep them in your back pocket for when you are a mom and I can guarantee you, you will thank me later. So the first hack that I wanted to talk about actually is something that's helped me a lot because my kids are obsessed with water bottles, especially my youngest. And the thing that is frustrating is kids don't tend to get out of bed in the middle of the night to just like go get a drink of water or anything like that. At least like young kids, like my two year old can't open her door yet. And there's no place to like set her water bottle where she can easily get it. And my older um, child too is the same way. It's too dark in her room. She can't see where her like nightstand is, all that. So one thing that I found is really helpful is getting one of those little plastic hooks that you can get at like any store really, like Fred Meyer, Target, Walmart, wherever. Just stick it on their wall. And then you get one of those water bottles that has the little lid and it has like the little loop that loops the lid on it to the water bottle. And you are just able to hang the water bottle right there on their wall. So if they need a drink in the middle of the night, they can just get their water bottle and take a drink and then they'll probably just throw it on their bed. But I mean, at least it's there and they know it's there. Next is something that I've actually been doing with Emery a lot lately. I actually just started doing this about a month ago and it's been really, really fun for her and it's helping her helping me empty the dishwasher. And she's only two and a half, so she's not very old. But what I do is I take out my little um, silverware organizer in my drawer and I set it on the floor and then I get the clean um, silverware racks out of the dishwasher, put them on the floor next to her. I make sure all the sharp knives and all the sharp objects are out of it. Please remember to do that because you don't want your kids playing with like sharp knives. Um, but you just put them down on the floor and they can take the silverware out and organize them wherever they go. So they can put like the forks and the spoons and like the baby spoons and stuff like that in their specific spots. And she's really good at it and she does it right every single time, but she loves doing it. It is so fun for her and it makes your life easier because I hate, that's like my least favorite part about emptying the dishwasher. And then usually when she's done, I'll just give her a sticker, like a chore sticker, like I kind of consider it like a chore. So I'll give her a sticker and she can go put it on like her sticker chart and it's just really fun for her and she always gets really excited when she gets to help me empty out the silverware. So it makes your life easier, trust me, because while you're doing all the plates and the cups, the silverware is also getting done. So it's a great hack, I'm telling you. Okay, the next hack is something that I actually love and Travis actually discovered these and I really wanted to put them in this video. This is not sponsored or anything like that, but I just wanted to put them in here because it is a really nice hack. So if you are a mom with a kid that loves to paint and draw like mine, then you know that you put a lot of pictures and artwork on the walls and usually you just like stick them on, you know, your refrigerator or wherever. But this is a way to actually show their artwork in a more like presentable way and it's super easy. And basically what it is, is frames that you would put on the wall and they have like a door hinge where you can actually open the frame, stick the child's artwork in the frame and then close the door right back on it. And it takes literally like three seconds and you have your child's artwork in a frame on the wall and it looks really good and it's super easy to just switch out different pictures because you know they draw like every single day. So you can easily just change the picture in and out so you always have your kids artwork on the wall and it's always new artwork. So it's a really, really awesome product and it makes a great gift as well. So definitely check those out. I'll put the name of them down below. I don't know exactly what the name is off the top of my head but I will link them down below so you guys will know. Next is something that's so duh for me and I should have done this a long time ago but I have two daughters and I do their hair every single day and I lose hair ties like no tomorrow or they end up like all over the bottom of my drawer. So what I do is I just get a carabiner and I take my hair ties and I put them on the carabiner so they're all in one spot makes life so much easier. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just like walk around like when I'm doing a house cleanup or whatever. You can just take the carabiner, stick it on your jeans, and while you find hair ties, cause I find hair ties everywhere, literally everywhere around my house and my daughter's rooms. And you can just stick them on the carabiner as you're cleaning and it just makes life way, way easier. Um, and it's just like a duh hack to me that I should have seriously used when I was young, like before I had kids. This one is like a really like silly hack. It's nothing like mine mind-blowingly amazing or anything like that, but I'm putting it in this video because I think that it's something that I use all the time and it's made my life a lot easier 
and if you haven't thought of this before then maybe this will be mind-blowing for you but it's using a pizza cutter for literally everything I have a toddler two and a half year old who needs like all of her food cut up usually and instead of using like a knife or like a fork and knife you know like if you're cutting like a waffle um, just take a pizza cutter and just roll it over whatever you're cutting and you can make little tiny squares and it's so much easier like you can cut waffles or pancakes or sandwiches or cookies or literally anything that you can possibly think of quesadillas and it's so much easier than like the knife fork method it's faster and it's just one of those things where you're like how did I not think of this sooner? Like that's genius. So this next one is really, really awesome. Again, if you have an artistic child and you just take a like ice maker, like plastic ice trays, and you use that as your paint palette. So you can just squirt different colors of paint in each ice cube tray. And the really cool thing about this is if you have just like primary colors or something like that, you can actually mix different colors in each of the trays. So you can make purple, you can make, you know, green and you can just um, have a whole entire palette of colors and they won't mix you know on like a paper plate or something like that they're just in their own little separate containers and it works really really well and the cool thing too is a lot of times you can find um, ice trays that have lids like snap-on lids so if you can find ice trays with snap-on lids get those because if you put the lid on the paint doesn't dry out so you can use them again in the future okay next is for those of you that live in the snow it's been a ridiculous winter so I have needed so many like snow hacks and I was so frustrated because I actually took my daughter outside and she got snow like right between her glove and her jacket and whenever you get snow right here if you have lived in the snow or been in the snow a lot you know exactly what I'm talking about it gets so cold right here so what you do is you take a sock it could be an old sock that you have laying around and you cut the top of the sock off and then you cut a little slit where the thumb goes and you put their hand in so it's almost like a fingerless mitten and then you put the glove over the top and then you put the jacket on over the top and if the jacket separates from the glove you have a little barrier right there of the sock that never is able to like move like you always have something protecting your wrists and this is such a genius hack for those of you who live in the snow that is it for this mom hack super short super simple nothing too crazy but if you guys like this I can always do more um, so I thought I would just keep it short so we can do more that are shorter if you know what I mean so I hope you guys like this video don't forget to thumbs it up and also subscribe to this channel for more mom type stuff lifestyle beauty pretty much anything like woman related cooking decorating fashion so subscribe if you haven't also don't forget to check out my twitter facebook instagram and snapchat and i think that's it guys so i will talk to you guys in my next video my next mommy monday video or whatever video you see next from me and i will talk to you guys soon Bye.